And we'll just dab it on. Oh, it looks really good though. And let it set for a little bit. Let it set. That is freaking cool though. Hi, Janice. Hi, Lily. Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. It's have like have a great Tuesday. It's such a great day. And we're always busy. And I'm so excited to get to be here to share with you. So when it's set, it's still wet. I will wait until it's set for a little bit before I'm using my crystal clear to blending it and create the uh, marble look. Hey ladies, how are you? Now to buy honey. Hello, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Great to have all of you today's again as usual. And we went live a little bit later because one of our um, ambassador teams, he did go live earlier, which is Brad Holden. I am great. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for tuning in. So I think it looks great. I am going to be using a crystal clear and it's just gentle. And I have a piece of paper right here with me because I don't want to, when I create the looks of marble looks and then as accidentally I will using a brush and put it back to the bottle, which is, it's going to contaminating my um, uh, crystal clear. So just a little touch. You don't need a whole lot of the crystal clear because it's more, less is more. You don't want them to. And you just blend it. Is this perfect for beginner? So you will never get, I'm wipe it up on the piece of paper. So my brush will never get contaminated back into my bottle. and blend them out. Did you know this is a, this is not a gel polish, this is a fusioning, it's like a marble ink. It's air dry, but then you can coat it with the gel polish later. So I'm doing it less is more. And wipe it off already before I put it right back into my bottle and get more of um, Crystal clear, which is the solutions for this. It's great, it's so super easy. If you missed my live video like last night, I will share with you, I did share with you how to do it's like one color of fusioning and achieve the looks really nice and easy without frustrating, without like, oh my God, it's bleeding. I have all the colors, like it's bleeding already, so I can't control it. How can I able to make my uh, fusioning it looks so much better? Now it's just like, it looks like a blurry burly and it doesn't look uh, precise at all. You just tap it in a piece of paper and then wipe off the excess colors. And I love how we support and show future nail tech a different techniques. Oh, absolutely, truly, Nova. You are very welcome. I love it. I'm so passionate about that. I'm so happy that you all can learn so much. Is your successful and also it's ours. So to see all of you growing and have so many of great questions to us, it means a lot to us. Thank you so much for tuning in. Your love and support is means so much. And I hope you all can learn something, like even one simple technique. So as I see right here, if you're doing for your clients, if the clients are bringing your pictures to your salon and say, you know, like, oh, Nancy, I want to be exactly the same like this. I would say, 
I will I can do something really close or similar, but keep in mind fusion or well, marbling will never identical, okay? Unless you will like copy completely the same. But if you want a natural look, they are not identical. If you're seeing your tile marbles at your house, you can tell right away they are not they're not supposed to be identical, okay? So just tell them that so then they won't be like flip out the chair and said, oh, I expect to be the same and now it doesn't look like, uh, take my nails off. Mm -mm. We want to educate your clients and explain it to them exactly what you're doing. So then they will appreciate as your talents and will really happy with what they get, you know? And then it's also that you tell them it's gonna be unique. It's only for you. No one else have the same thing, so. Just in case, because we do have a lot of questions that, you know, how can I able to do exact identical? You can't never, like, you can't never do that because it's naturally it's planning for you. So I'm happy with this. Like, you can create different vents if you, the veins, if you depend on how you like it. But then you see that how I'm doing it. I didn't messing around. I didn't need any brushes. And I use literally of a crystal clear. So if you ask me what one item to get it from a fusion, and you can get any colors. Like you can get pink, you can get red, whatever, but you need one of this. So then they can blend it so well. The ratios of it is so easy, especially for a beginner. You were never gonna go wrong with this. So I'm really, really obsessed with this. It has helped me create so many different marble look without frustrated and without um, like nervous that it's gonna bleeding everything. Look at this, I wiped my brush, you can see that it was on the side, so Facebook probably see it, but then Instagram can't see it. But I brush, I wipe my brush off, so then when I put back into my crystal clear, it will, it will not gonna contaminating my crystal clear. So now if you're happy with this, the client is happy, you're totally great, you can just leave it alone and coat it with the no wipe top coat. But if you want to get some veins, like yesterday I did one of this, I really, really adore this. It's super cute because you know what? It's super easy, even you're a beginner, you can do one color. Don't stress yourself by doing a 10 different color and they all bleeding like they say on the top of each other and starting like a blurry and bleeding everything. So, because it's a, it's a, the marbling fusioning is, is base is actually is alcohol so it's the more you put in it the more it's blending it's bleeding so it's not gonna set it for you so I'm gonna get in like a golden touch right here I really like it and let's try that to combine together yesterday we did it shimmering silver today we are going to using a golden touch so it's really cute and I'm gonna give it a try and see how it turned out oh I dropped it sorry Ooh. That is really cute. I give it just a little sore right there. Let's see. It's just so cute. It depends on however, wherever you want to draw your vents. I think you will never go wrong with this. Either whatever you come up with, it's gonna look so pretty anyway. So do not afraid of to unleash your potential and your talents. You can do it. It's so cute. And then if you want to do this, the look with the Chan Fu Foy, as a lot of different video I sharing it, the cool technique you can do with Chan Fu Foy, you can, but if you don't want it, then you can do a gel painting like me doing it, or you can leave it alone. So it's like a different variety. Do you pick your, you know, um, you know, accents, designs you want to. So I'm gonna pop this guys into the lamp. I just don't want it to do too much and it take away from a lot of my veins naturally. So I like it like that, okay? It looks so simple. 